Hello Leo! Welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Leo, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Turn of Note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see. Leo, what do we have for you? Show me Leo, please. So we have... Okay. So Leo, you might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone is very nostalgic about you. Someone is replying certain events from the past non-stop. They are thinking about you very, very much. For some of you, it might be an ex. doesn't have to be. But, yeah. Someone, someone is... I, I feel that someone is longing for you. Someone is longing for your attention. I feel that recently, you, you, you know... I feel that you might be apart. Maybe you walked away from this situation. You said you're, you know, it's like saying goodbye and kind of not, you decided to not look back. It was like a decision, or you might be in the middle of making that sort of decision to kind of leave certain situation as it no longer serves a purpose in your life, or at least distance yourself from it. We have listened, you are very intuitively at the moment, listen to your intuition and also there is someone here who wants to talk, they want you to hear them out and it's like uh, spirit here is gently advising you to kind of let them talk, let them talk, just listen to them, what they are saying and then you can draw your conclusion on what, what sort of kind of information they will uh, share with you. But um, maybe you are quite nostalgic here about someone from your past as well, Leo, or in general. There is a huge energy of memories. Memories. I feel for some of you there, there might be some sort of kind of anniversary coming very soon and you just feel quite nostalgic about the situation or in general. We have manifest as an overall energy. It is important for you to maintain a positive mindset, Leo, because you are manifesting. And it might be crucial to, you know, to focus on positive things because of, because essentially what you are focusing on, you, you are attracting, it's going to come to your life. So you are very, very, very powerful. And something here also, some sort of kind of a, something it's within reach, goal, understanding clarity if you have doubts about something yeah this clarity it's coming answers are within reach so this is very positive something here will be clarified and i also feel that you're manifesting um, something really really big let's see this earth sign also it's um ace of pentacles energy so some sort of form of opportunity for stability regarding finances, maybe a business or work-related situation. Uh, it's showing up here for you. So that might be something that you also, you know, manifesting. Let's see, Leo. We have temperance. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. We have Queen of Wands. Ace of Cups. The Emperor. You might be dealing with Aries. Judgment. And King of Pentacles. There is a choice choice is showing up here for you at the bottom of the deck 
at the bottom of the deck we have a nine of wands mm -hmm. okay i like that temperance it's opening your reading because it is a sign that you are very grounded you're very down to earth you are very you know you you, you are i don't know if i can say balanced um um but i feel that you are very calm for some of you, you might be practicing meditation but um, I'm seeing that, you know, from this card, it's like, don't worry, I have everything under control. That sort of kind of energy it's showing up. You are essentially being, uh, being very, very balanced and grounded, very down to earth, knowing exactly what to do. And it's like, again, yes you have your things you have certain things here under control we have then we have this queen of wands and ace of cups someone here uh leo is finding you incredibly attractive and i'm telling you one thing you are incredibly powerful we have the queen of wands emperor queen of wands and king of pentacles you are manifesting enormous amount of prosperity and abundance especially when it comes to money this is this is energy this is like a powerhouse for some of you you might have your own business if that's the case whew, you'll be very successful or you might be already very successful but that success it's something stable we have the emperor who's all which is this this energy it's all about stability and security and we have a king of pentacles that is also about stability you know especially when it comes to uh, finances and work related situation uh, so i'm seeing you full being in a position of power oh my gosh no one can stop you <laughs> no I see you being very balanced, very grounding, knowing exactly what you want with the judgment and the Ace of Cups. It's like some sort of opportunity here. It's showing up opportunity that might bring enormous amount of fulfillment. And with the judgment, it's I'm getting that you are making decision and you will make a very, very. Uh, I'm seeing that um, because of you maintaining this balance and harmony in your life that decision won't be you know kind of reckless or made in that sort of kind of uh, fashion it will be very very um, down to earth and I feel that with the temperance <laughs> I feel that what I am getting Leo is that you know something and with the temperance it's like you might be coming from the place I know that this opportunity is showing up for me. I know that I will have to make a decision. And actually, I feel that you know what you want to do. But you might feel that at the moment, it might not be the right time. I need to wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. In order to fully uh, gain, to out in order to gain the most from this situation the emperor here also represents divine masculine energy someone who is loyal someone who is down to earth reliable uh, very supportive very knowledgeable but i feel very strongly here leo that um Yes, you do have people interested in you. I have those two energies very interested in you. And with the judgment, it might be a case for some of you that you will have to make a decision uh, uh, which person here it's, 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 you know, suits you better. I don't know if that's the right thing. To, it's the right way to say, but someone who just, you know, uh, it's like a choice between two people or two opportunities regarding your finances or work-related situation because I'm seeing here two people involved uh, in some sort of kind of a business 
if that's the case and it's like you're making decision you know exactly what you want with the nine of wands uh, however with the nine of wands there is something here about one of this individual that you don't trust you don't trust you have your guard up you know i feel that you know you might feel that you have to have your that you have to pay attention to the small details yeah there is some sort of kind of something here raised there was a red flag you know or something here uh, raise your eyebrow what i meant with with this uh, with this energy is that indeed there might be a choice with regards to two people and at some point you will have to make a decision uh, which of which of this um, individuals really kind of a um, I don't know how to say it suits your expectations you know or someone who is uh, who is um, something about being more available let's not forget that the emperor it's the emperor this is a king high vibrational but the emperor it's divine masculine energy divine counterpart and i'm getting that two people are very interested in you there are two people i feel very 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 strongly that they want to be with you leo someone here is very down to earth someone it's thinking about you want to make some sort of kind of form of an offer but i'm seeing that both of them put you on a pedestal very powerful energy you are very powerful at the moment look you are in the middle you're like crowning this reading show me the past we have the death card we have the world mm -hmm. okay show me the past and we have this nine of wands queen of swords at the bottom of the deck so you might be dealing or you might have dealt with scorpio leo i also have taurus aquarius and your energy leo so maybe with another leo this is a major energy of completion something here ended i feel that you've changed uh, and also certain circumstances in your life changed and you've detached uh, the massive shift happened in your life and with the world it's like there was a natural completion of some sort but with this energy i feel that you didn't mind letting it go because um i feel that you were coming from the place that now it's time to kind of move on or to enter a completely different path or on a different terms it's like you detach from certain mindset certain situation and you didn't mind letting it go because it was just simply done nine of wands uh, here represents that that past situation um, wasn't working for you i feel that you felt drained energetically and i feel that there was uh, also huge disappointment and this kind of energy of anxiety and being just tired attached to it because nine of wands is also this kind of energy oh i need to have my you know i need to be ready for anything it's like i feel that there were certain people that you didn't want it to deal with and um but it was very difficult to kind of fully detach from them therefore I'm getting that you just it took quite a, a strong and quite assertive approach in order to kind of detach from that situation and with the Queen of Swords yes I feel that you were quite assertive about it no one here could change your mind it is what it is I need to do it for myself because it is the right thing to do 
let's see love life let's see love life we have a knight of wands we have tower six of wands seven of wands at the bottom of the deck we have the high precious you are very intuitive listen to your intuition leo you might be dealing with pisces scorpio aries so we have a knight of wands to the tower i'm getting very strongly that you might have dealt or you are dealing here with someone who is very inconsistent who is very in and out hot and cold they changing um someone who is very moody once it's fine and then once it's really really difficult to kind of reach out to them um knight of wands um brings this energy of of inconsistency knight of wands it's very very creative and when this energy is truly, truly interested, yes, they will give you all the attention. They will be sending you messages. You'll be talking with them for hours. Then you will meet up. You will have a great time. Knight of Wands is very passionate. They want to do things. But next day, it might be a case that they, for instance, disappear and you can't hear from them. If you had plans with Knight of Wands, most of the time you can expect that that knight of wands won't show up or they will give you some sort of excuse and they will make and, and then if you dare in a brackets to ask them why or provide you with an explanation uh, they will make it big deal out of it that you are over exaggeration things i feel that at the moment or you might you might have dealt please take it how it resonates with this message um, you might have dealt with someone who brought that sort of kind of dynamic into your love life and it caused the tower moment it was I feel that um, something happened sudden, suddenly it was unexpected it was out of the blue it was shocking it brought chaos I'm getting very kind of immature, childish energy, someone who doesn't want to take responsibility, who doesn't even kind of recognize that they might be creating those tower moments, someone who might be quite reckless with their words, and you know, someone who is attention seeking person. They love attention and they want your attention. You see, we have we have all wants energy this person can be quite reckless with their words um, very inconsistent someone who's acting on on impulse i don't know if that's the right way to say in english kind of impulsive right maybe someone who has a quick temper but very passionate but it's just like a it's inconsistent it's inconsistent and with the six of wands they really love attention it's like they need to be at the center of attention and with the seven of wands it's like I feel that when someone starts asking them questions or demanding some sort of explanations this person is pushing them away because they 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 feel that they don't own anyone an explanation with the six of wands you know they are there to be admired this is a very selfish, self-centered energy. And I feel this person caused the tower moment in this situation. And what I am also getting, that they might have came, came back. They offered you some sort of form of affection. They apologized. But within time, they start acting in the same way. Seven of Wands. They pushed you away. A bit of a player energy. I must admit, with this Knight of Wands, the Tower, they caused the Tower moment. High Precious. Why the High Precious? There might be a no contact situation between the two of you. You might be dealing with Virgo.
this is someone who is equally giving to another situation or they were giving to another situation for some of you this is someone who is uh, who's unable to create stability because they have their stability somewhere else with someone else or this is someone who that family got involved or relatives but this is someone who has tendency to breadcrumb you i feel at the moment they withdraw their energy four of pentacles someone incredibly stubborn six of swords they walked away they have a tendency to walking away three of wands then trying to manifest you magician Virgo Gemini and King of Swords yeah this is someone who's very skillful with their words I'm getting very strongly that um, at the moment there might be a no contact situation but I'm seeing them reaching out with this King of Swords because at the end of the day King of Swords wants to talk this is someone who has so much to say I don't know what they are about to say but they do want to say they want to talk with you about the situation I, I I don't know what they want to talk about because it feels like this person is unable to take this connection to the next level it's like this person is unable to give you what you truly deserve because of them being very inconsistent and it is something to do with a family unit or with some sort of with some sort of stability that they might have somewhere else but I see like a family involved in this situation maybe you know traditions are different between you and this person or just family got involved but something here will be also revealed to you and spirit doesn't want you to know now and I'm sorry for saying that but every time when the high precious it's showing up as an overall energy this is a sign that Mary, mm -mm -mm. not yet. That's not the right moment. But you can say <laughs> that something here will be revealed. And the most importantly, it's to listen to your intuition regarding this person. Okay. Let's see. I see them coming. I see them coming and trying to kind of offer you some sort of attention. But with the Seven of Wands, you might have blocked this person or at the moment because there is no contact situation i'm getting and you just don't want to deal with them because they created a terror moment show me the outcome for leo please we have the ten of wands for the near future show me the outcome for the near future please king of cups and the lovers wow gemini energy seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck someone here wants to invest invest with you but i'm talking about investment regarding relationship we have the lovers this king of cups with the ten of wands this is someone who's very hard working and who's been i feel this is someone who built something by their own and they had no help Mm -hmm. for some of you it might be a case that you met this person already uh, if not you will meet them very very soon because it's in your outcome for the near future i can tell you about this individual that yes they are very hard working they might be an owner of a business um, they built something by their own not having much but it's like they perseverance, patience, they stay kind of a, they've really put so much into it and it, and, and, and it, um, and it bring, and it brought, you know, prosperity to their life. I feel very strongly here also, Leo, that someone there's this king of cups with the ten of wands it's like this person here will offer you some sort of form of support that you will no longer have to carry some sort of burden by your own 
it's like they will be yes very helpful and very affectionate towards you it's like they will be always kind of you will know that you can always uh, rely on them because this is someone here who wants to be with you with the lovers you have new relationship on the horizon with someone who will be actually very very supportive and very hard working individual they've been through a lot and i feel as a hardship it wasn't easy for them but this king of cups is very emotionally available especially next to the lovers it's like they only dream is to uh, be in a very very loving relationship with someone with their soulmate with someone uh, with whom they can create a beautiful connection full of understanding and love and with the seven of pentacles it feels very strongly that they really want to invest in this connection or they will really want to invest in this in this relationship if you haven't met this person already someone who wanted to stay for a very long time and they will be very attentive and very caring with the seven of pentacles very hard working individual who is not afraid of challenges who is very patient and who is very nurturing and caring very beautiful energy is showing up you will have options in love here leo people are, you, you you are it's like you are very attractive and there is not only a, there is more than just an attraction you know uh, you being very attractive that's what i mean it's just like you are a whole package you know you have this x fact that there is this emotional intelligence i feel you are very uh, gentle you have a very kind heart it's very very it's a beautiful energy and it's like you are very grounded, you are very balanced, uh, very calm, but equally very kind. You see, you are surrounded here by, by those beautiful cards. Mm -hmm. You will very soon, uh, I'm getting, you will meet, or maybe you've already met, as, as I mentioned, a person who will be there for you and who will be very helpful and who will assist you here with a certain uh, things and it can be uh, a beginning of beautiful uh, friendship that will develop into, into, into something more profound as a relationship this king of cups next to the lovers shows that it might be your soulmate you're manifesting your soulmate here Leo seven of pentacles is an overall energy whatever you are investing your time your patience uh, soon you will reap your rewards okay something here will manifest will blossom into something really really beautiful and i feel it will give you a more financial freedom there is a big success here on the horizon for you especially in this reading Suc success in love and also when it comes to your uh, finances and work related situation leo i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you leo have a fantastic and wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.